we must appreciate intergenerational approach, we must appreciate what has been done because we stand on the shoulders of many. And everybody has their space, you know. So Pierre, the young people, we must embrace the wisdom of our elders. We must embrace the vigor of our youth, who are our greatest assets. And we must shape a leadership narrative that transcends the age gap and time. We must learn to celebrate one another. We are stronger together. Let us kindle the flame of hope within our hearts and ch channel our passion into actionable change. Through our collaborative efforts, let us weave a tapestry of inclusivity where every thread, regardless of its color or texture, contributes to a richer and a more vibrant Kenya and a better future for all of us. Thank you for joining us in this transformative agenda Agenda. And may our time together at this annual Women's Rights Convention inspire us to create the change we seek, to be the change that we want to see, and let us stand united, for in unity we can forge a path towards a Kenya that embodies that essence of Sote Pamoja. With Yahweh on our side, we cannot fail, and Kenya will be the richer for it. Thank you. Despite the challenges, women have navigated, broken the glass ceiling, making it into public, private institutions and communities. Women have excelled and women have done business. Some of us, Secretary and I, from the, from the 80s and many other Kenyan women were involved, women who are not celebrated in an industry of export in this nation. And they did business. And these are stories which have gone not celebrated. Some have died, but those who are still alive will come to you because those days Kenya did not even have foreign currency. It only realized in 1994. And the families went out into the markets and sold Kenyan handicrafts into the world and brought money into this nation. They need to be celebrated. So I have a clarion call to all duty bearers and other stakeholders represented here to work together towards the realization of two that gender rule and in aspects of governance. To us, and to me specifically, gender equality is more than a goal in itself. It is a precondition for meeting the challenge of reducing poverty, promoting sustainable development, and building good governance. Women should embrace all the facets of leadership and never apologize for being a powerful woman, or being a leader, or being voicing uh, your ideas because we are also Kenyans. And if Kenyans have rights, and I add with what uh, Hillary Clinton once said, that women rights are human rights. Thank you very much. Ladies in this room, that there is no force more powerful than a woman determined to rise. That force is very, very powerful. We are not putting a fight to fight men, but we are fighting for a human right. Because women's rights are human rights. According to the World Economic Forum gender data, Kenya has made a significant leap in the gender development index, moving from position 118 in 2018 to an impressive position 56 in 2022 globally. We made a significant positive change in a number of areas for instance, for elected women in National Assembly, we have 29 from 23. From three governors to now seven. From 97 to 115 at the County Assembly. 
Sound progress has been made in promoting positive social norms, attitudes, and behaviors that prevent gender-based violence. This is evidenced in the Kenya Demographic Health Survey 2023, which indicated some decrease for women and girls aged 15 to 49. I am committed to an inclusive process, leaving no one behind. Taking the lessons learned from the previous attempts, I envision a bipartisan process that will adhere to the principles of public participation as exposed in our Constitution. Further, we are currently implementing the nine-point agenda that covers critical areas, which include economic empowerment, gender equality in leadership, combating gender-based violence, and safeguarding women's land rights. I value the support that organizations represented here have given to government through gender sector working group in my ministry and beyond. I look forward to receiving the proceeding of this convention for implementation through partnership and collaboration. It is now my pleasure to declare the annual Women Convention 2023 officially opened. Thank you. Thank you, all of you. And I wish you a fruitful deliberations.